Charlie lived his life like he drove a car. He never looked in the rearview mirror. He never used the rearview mirror. He only looked or he only thought about going ahead. Everything with Charlie Ruttenberg was an experience. He was an incredible man, laid the footsteps for many of us to follow, and things that he did, things that he started, were usually seen to completion and in a very successful way. Charlie's uh, heart was a repository of, of good and uh, charitable actions and thoughts, and, and uh, he knew how to share his uh, time and treasure with, uh, like few others. Sunday morning was a little bit of ceremony in the house. The Clearwater Sun and the St. Pete Times would get delivered, and you'd have four kids sitting around reading the home section and conversationally telling their dad what was right and what was wrong with all of his advertising. And he'd be in the kitchen every Sunday morning cooking pancakes and openly listening to what they had to say. When you sum it all up, I mean, he was just a mensch. I mean, Charlie really understood being a good guy and what it meant and how to treat other people. And that's what Menschlichkeit's really all about in the end, is how you treat others. And Charlie really understood that. Charlie set the bar very high for all of us here in this community and whoever knew him. And I say that he set the bar high because he was an outstanding businessman outstanding philanthropist. He knew that he had to give back and we all realized that we followed Charlie that we can do big things in our business and we can do th good big things in politics but we've got to be able to give back to our communities, to our states and to our nations. So he set the example for all of us and he'll always be remembered for that type of leadership. If he taught me anything it was how to give, why to give and it, it just wasn't important enough to write checks but to do the work. One thing that always impressed me is he probably spent 50 or 60 percent of his time on philanthropy. I try to emulate that. It's not always so easy, but uh, I think that he is the number one architect of the Jewish community in, in uh, Pinellas County, bar none. You know, so many people know and associate Charlie with gifts that he gave that put his name on something. You would not believe how many gifts Charlie gave to people. Um, for which he received no charitable deduction because it was just a person in need. It wasn't an organization that was a 501c3. Um, and he didn't ask for any credit. But um, those of us who were around Charlie in a working environment uh, saw it with our own eyes. In his business, he hired the brightest uh, stars as he called them, and he surrounded himself with uh, the very best. He um, nurtured them, he taught them, he guided them, he led them, and uh, with great pride Charlie would describe them as his alumni of uh, millionaires. Of course, we always refer to them as uh, Charlie's boys. Charlie had such a, a wide angle look at things and you know it was the background that he had it was something that's just immeasurable that experience much better than any graduate school that you could have gone to. Charlie was my mentor he was far more than that. Charlie aside from my mother and father and my wife and children was the most important person in my life. For every situation that uh, I got into, Charlie would always have some, some good advice. They were usually, the advice was usually very colorful, it was metaphorical, and it, it was full of acronyms. And he was unselfish in his teaching. Uh, you know, he didn't hold back. He didn't say, well, I'll just teach this guy or this woman, uh, you know, just so much so that they, they know a little more than they do now. He would open up, he would, he would be a mentor, he would just tell you everything that he possibly could. and. Those of us who listened to him learned, and we learned a great deal. We learned a great deal about, about business, and we learned a great deal about giving. He was truly my advisor for many, many years across the board in the Jewish community, my mentor, but most of all and best of all, he was my friend. He was an incredible human being whose, as I said before, shoes are going to be very difficult to fill, and he certainly will be very, very much missed.
For Charlie, being a Jew was not a role that he played. It was a life. And he implemented the Jewish ideals through his vision and his voice. His most enduring characteristic for me was his attempt to do Torah in everything that he sought to achieve. His legacy is the embitterment of the community in Pinellas County, of the Jewish community in Pinellas County, of Judaism across the globe. He was a tremendous supporter of Israel, and that's where he and I became so closely involved because of my involvement and his involvement in the Jewish Federation. So, as I said, Charlie Ruttenberg is truly a name that is going to be very, very difficult to fill and shoes that are going to be very difficult to fill. I think Charlie was clearly two things. He was a great visionary, and he was a mentor. He could dream things that people hadn't yet dreamed, whether it's the Golda Meir Center, uh, whether it's the greater expansion and growth of the uh, Jewish Federation of the county, whether it's his involvement with uh, Ruth Eckerd Hall, even before it became Ruth Eckerd Hall. So many things he had a part in dreaming and growing. And he gave the insight to individuals to make it happen. He mentored them. He also pushed people. He pushed people beyond what they thought their capacity was to grow and do this. Legacy, uh, you just got to drive through countryside and you think of Charlie. Um, you know, you think of the drive by the Bellevue Billmore, you think of Charlie. You, you look at uh, U.S. homes and Ruttenberg homes, you think of Charlie. More importantly, I think of Golda, Golda Meir Kent Center, I think of Charlie. Every time I go to Ruth Eckerd Hall, every time I either raise money or give money to the Jewish Federation, certainly think of him. And so his legacy is huge. Charlie was a proud guy. He was a sharing guy. He loved to give to others. And the biggest part that we miss in this community today is today there's not another Charlie. Um, he let himself be everybody's Charlie. And from time to time that happens with others. And when the community finds another Charlie, the community will take a big step forward.